Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Every month I try and read at least two books, two business books, autobiographies, uh, books on investing, um, uh, because hey, you can never stop learning. It's a, it's a habit that I've picked up 20 years ago, and uh, I still uh, am an avid reader on uh, learning about, especially following other successful people. Um, I th that's something that I, I picked up a long time ago from some of the mentors that helped me when I was first starting out in real estate and investing. Uh, you can learn an awful lot from, from people that have already been there and done that. And uh, so I'd like to read a lot of biographies of, of successful CEOs and presidents and, and of companies, as well as athletes, actors, you name it. Now, I just finished reading the auto, official autobiography of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, love or hate the guy, uh, you have to admit, Arnold is an uh, alpha male and a very uh, successful, driven person. And uh, this is one of the better books that I've read in the last few years, actually. Now, one of the things, though, that he talked about in one of his chapters, and this is something why I wanted to do this video blog, because this is a common thread with just about every successful person that I've read about over the years. And it's something that a lot of people have in reverse. They think the opposite of what really these successful people do. And here it is. Successful people make decisions very quickly and change their minds very slowly. Now, I bet if I asked people on the street, family, friends, if I asked someone in my office or wherever, a lot of people would have that in reverse. A lot of people, for whatever reason, think that you make decisions slowly. You take your time and draw it out, ask a lot of people, think about it for weeks or months before you make a decision, and then change your mind quickly. It's the, it's the reverse. You size up as successful people, and this, going back to Arnold Schwarzenegger's book, a lot of people don't realize Arnold Schwarzenegger is a huge, huge real estate investor. He has been since he was in his 20s. The first paychecks he started to get, he started to buy duplexes and small apartment buildings in Los Angeles. Uh, he now owns multiple, multiple units, somewhere around three or 400 rental units in the Los Angeles area, in Denver, in New York. But he talked about how it was important in real estate, to buy buying real estate, is that you had to size up the situation very quickly, uh, uh, do your due diligence, and then pounce on it when the opportunity presented itself. And working with young buyers, a lot of the times, uh, that is probably the one thing that they have tr trouble with. And it's understandable. You're making the biggest purchase of your life to date, uh, it's a big decision. There's a lot of money on the line. But what I tell people is that you do your due diligence, you get a good realtor, that's what you're paying your realtor for to help steer you in the right direction. And when that right unit comes up or that right house or townhouse, you need to make a decision on it quickly. Especially when you're in a seller's market like today, you snooze, you lose in this market. And even when we're in a more balanced market, successful people, successful investors, whether it's real estate or stocks, can size up the situation, make their decisions quickly, and then stick with it. it. Takes a lot for them to go back on their decision and change their mind. And that's something that I think a lot of people do in reverse. And uh, think about it. Think about your own situation and how you've dealt with things, but I know from my personal situation in buying investment real estate over the years, um, all my decisions have come quickly. I know what I want when the right unit comes onto the market, I'm able to pounce on it, put an offer in and buy it, and I have no second thoughts about it. And I'm in it for the long term, and it would take an awful lot of uh, big change for me to change my mind down the road. I buy it, stick with my decision, and that's what most successful, successful people do. And it's a common trait that I've read in so many books over the years from people, they'll mention that, how they're quick to size things up and make decisions quickly and change their minds slowly. I'm Owen Bigland, hope you learned something. I'll see you next time.